Okay, we'll play first. One lander, that sucks. Let's go again. All right, we'll keep this. What do I want? Double of first. Guess it doesn't matter. Everything's pretty much... Um... All right. Coligan aspirant. All right. Well, I can douse and gloom that. I think I actually Zephyr scribe first. That way I can do a little bit of card draw too. Maybe he drops a morph. And then I can douse it plus uh, do some drawing. Or kill a bear. Seems better. Um, I think we attack first. Because I'll definitely make the trade. Alright. Let's douse now while he's tapped out. Just in case he's got combat trick. Um, I can discard a Sadisi's Faithful, but I think I'm actually just going to play a Sadisi's Faithful. Gets to block an Aspirant. And it's like Sack Fodder for Executioner, too. Um, so now the question is, do I want to, I think we can use scribe here. Actually, we may just want to play executioner here. Sack the Faithful. I wouldn't have been surprised if he sacked uh, Glade Watcher there, only because Aspirin can attack into me. Scribe has actually already done decent work for us. Okay. He's obviously got some concerns about Zephyr Scribe, so I'm okay with that. Hmm. Now that surprises me. All right, I guess we just flatten that and go on a beatdown plan. Guess he could dash us, but cross that bridge when we come to it. No plays, so he's got just lands in his hand, I'm assuming. Updraft Elemental, not the most exciting draw, but certainly more exciting than, say, uh-oh, Reach of Shadows, all right. I guess that's better than on, say, an Archfiend or something. Wish uh, my beat beating beatings down was a little bit more efficient here, but now we can at least bring back the Executioner when our attendant dies, and it's good exploit fodder. Foul Tongue's actually a really nice draw here since uh, the next creature he top decks, we've got the out to.
I actually don't even need to foul tongue that. If I attack with attendant, I can get back scribe. Or Executioner. But does Executioner even make sense now? Oh, whatever. I guess I just... And then we're just, any top deck land gives us a 4-4 death touch flyer. It's pretty good for him. He gets to dash it from exile, too. He gets to cast it? Man. Worked out really well for him. So, uh, quite a few top decks that are good here. Vulture Saving is certainly one. So, let's play Avon. Sack attendant. Let's draw before we use attendant. Oh, I gotta choose now. Um, guess executioners. Pretty good here. Hunt a week, perhaps. Good guess on my part, huh? All right. We're still in pretty good shape. All right, well, now we're in bad shape, unfortunately. So we went from super far ahead to now we're behind, which is pretty depressing. But depressing things happen in Magic, so I'll take it. Yeah, that was just about the worst possible thing I think could happen. Maybe not the worst possible, but certainly horrendously bad. Um, horrendously bad, absolutely. That was awful. Um absolutely awful so let's do right into being leave up whisk away for the sprinting war brute still just not doing too good still just not doing so good yeah and actually one two three four one oh of course he has of course he's got perfect mana yeah so even when I, yeah, of course he's got perfect mana. That's hilarious. Yeah, so he's going to be able to Warbrute and uh, Formidable Pump this and deal 
far too much damage to me. So I think I actually have to Executioner here. Much to my sadness. Much, much, much to my sadness. Alright. Uh, do I want to sack the Elemental or the Executioner? He has to attack each turn with this. Seven turns of updraft elemental attacks before I could ever hope to... We've got to play Executioner regardless. I think we're sacking the Executioner. I don't love it, but I want a flyer. Okay, so he wants the... Well, I can wait for him to pump and do the Beast Breaker, but is that even good? It's not great. Not when he's got dash. I could play right into being... He pumps this, I take 12. I go to 1. I whisk away, I take 6. I still die the next turn. I'm going to write into being. Alright, Blitch and Rager is not going to win us the game. But we'll manifest that and bottom this. Really didn't want him to have a follow up here at all, but he did, so that sucks, but happens. There's a prerogative. I wish I could do it, but I can't. So now we have to pass. Um, the Warbrute can dash, which means I think I need to do the Beast Breaker. So I chump the Warbrute, block the Yearling, whisk away the Beast Breaker. Um, could I draw anything to get me out of this? Even if I draw Butcher's Glee, I'm going to be one short with my, my dude. Land doesn't do anything. We'll play prerogative. Um, hmm. Oh, well, that's not bad, actually. Wait a second. Let me think about this. Is there any way to... So, we know he's going to draw. Let me think about this. So, I think my out is... 
chump block the war brute with the updraft L well he might keep the yearling back now though yeah he probably keeps the yearling back hmm this is tough now if I chump block I think I may have to trade. I don't want to, but if I don't trade, he just gets another creature, and if I don't draw a creature, I just die. So now at least the Reach of Shadows keeps him at bay a little bit. I still have an Archfiend draw I could get. Skullkeeper is something. Don't want to mill big things, please. Begging you. All right, two lands is like the ideal... Um, I can swing to, I mean, if he has removal, we're going to die, but I, I can't afford to keep my elemental back. If he has dash, we die. I mean, there's things that kill us, but burn spells kill us too. Contradict. All He's casting something. Well, that helps. Oh, my God. That is so funny. Him casting defeat brought us back in the game. Unbelievable. Ugh. Drowner. I can't even use Drowner. <laughs> That's... I can't even use Drowner. Or can I? If I use Drowner, I go down to two turns left. There's a pretty good chance I find my, my demon. I think I just don't use it. Ugh, another morph. No, no. Where's my butcher's glee? Where's my arch fiend? Butcher's Glee. There it is. Oh, my God. Cannot believe we won this.
That was the most ridiculous game. The fact that he defeated my guy to give me a coat with Venom, to block his 4-4 first strike dragon, unbelievable game. Uh, he's got, I should have checked his graveyard closer. Uh, there's a good chance he's bringing in like pinion feast and stuff too, but we know he's got grim contest. Oh, jeez. Wait a second. Self-inflicted wound. Bring that in for sure. Problem with Contradict is he's got the morph fatties. I mean, he could still hard cast a segment to Crotique, though. There's still a chance he does that. The problem is... His late game is better than our late game. I guess besides Archfiend, but... What do I take out for Self-Inflicted Wound? I actually don't know. I cannot believe we won that game. Oh my god, guys. You have no idea. Do you realize there was a point in that game that the chances of us winning were so slim that it was like... I, I don't even know how to describe it. The, the, like, the chances of us winning that. There was a point in that game where the chances of us winning that were absolutely insane. And you could argue that was like the swingiest game I've ever seen. Updraft Elemental is probably fine. Blocks Coley and Aspirant pretty well. I got to come up with a cut here. I still feel like Contradict might be pretty good. I'm definitely doing Self-Inflicted Wound. I can't really afford to cut cheap things. God, what do I cut? Maybe I do cut the Skull Keeper. It's not good against Coling and Aspirant. It's okay against Morphs, but... It's not that great of a card. He's not hyper aggro, it feels like, either. I mean, he can be, but... I think I'd rather just have Self-Inflicted Wound. Alright. Let's try this. This looks good. Granted, we need a land, but we're on the draw. If we get a land, I want to do right into being. All right. No land play. Oh my god, we have to capitalize hard. Right into being... Um, faithful and Island. We want the land because we want our fifth land drop for Archfiend. So I guess we manifest this top island. I don't see any reason to not top an island when we've got an Archfiend in hand. Definitely make the trade here. Alright, that's fine. So, I guess we're going to mercilessly execute. Actually, I kind of want to whisk away now. I feel like that's more, way more brutal against him. Yeah, we're going to whisk away. And next turn, we're going to Archfiend. Yeah, even if he doesn't attack into a Whiskway, whatever. I'll play an Archfiend. We don't even lose to a epic confrontation or anything. He probably just attacks. He, he seems like a smart player. He just concedes. Well, I said he seemed like a smart player, but I guess I lied.
I see no reason why he shouldn't have just acted like he had another tread upon. I definitely, like, think about it. You have two lands, you have a Guardian Shield Bear, and you attack into an Archfiend of Depravity. Do you really think your opponent's going to block that? Why would why would your opponent who just played an Archfiend call your bluff on a on a Guardian Shield Bear? Uh, mind blown that we uh, that we uh, won Game One. Mind blown. My my brain's gonna explode. Um, I gotta say I do feel good about picking the Archfiend over the Wooded Foothills when the Archfiend of the Depravity is is what gets your opponent to scoop. Uh, but the road is still fraught with dangers, my friends. We still have to win round two before our deck means anything. So, all right, we'll see you in round two.